Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Thibut 8 Ball Pool and this is the most requested tutorial ever on our channel guys. So as you can see right now on our screen, this first tutorial, I mean this first part got around 3.5 uh, 3.2k likes and at the same time 165k views so we can say that that this thing is going pretty fine and you guys want me to make another second part of this tutorial so i'm back here and this is some sort of a special video uh, because we reached 16k subscriber and this is pretty amazing so yeah let's get started i'll be going to show you some simple and easiest way to clear up your snooker ball or maybe some simple and easy bank shot you can make if you don't know i mean if you just got started to play this game then you can then you can watch this tutorial and if you're not seeing the first part of my tutorial just go right now into the description and watch the first part then you will understand because this is the second part and let's get started guys point your cue ball onto the uh, as you can see I'm on my cue ball is on to the right side of the cushion and it is placed on to the first dot or we can say diamonds it is placed on to the diamonds first diamonds and then the next target will be to the third diamond of our table so as you can see i mean i'm not good <laughs> i'm not good in explaining things but as you can see right now on our screen just do what i'm doing just place the cue ball where i'm placing and then you will understand that you can easily clear up any ball which will be onto the bottom right pocket just watch what i'm doing we place onto the first diamond then onto the third diamond of the bottom pocket and use only two bars of power you have to use only two bars I mean it depends on Q to Q I'm using Atlantis Q so I'm using two power two bar of the power and if you're using any kind of different Q just uh, use different mode of power I'm using two modes of the power I mean two bars of the power and yeah look at this the ball will come back with the help of spin and then it will target the pocket of the bottom right and I will show you onto the top pocket just place onto the third diamond and use left spin in this case because we are onto the top so spin work according to top and right bottom and top pocket spin work different if you're onto the top and if you're onto the bottom spin work different all right so now I have placed the ball onto the bottom right pocket and I will use the same shot to clear up the the orange ball and as you can see right now with the help of spin we can clear any ball which will be onto the bottom right pocket I will show you one more time just point out onto the first diamond and point out onto the bottom third diamond or we can say right hand side third diamond all right so use only left spin and then only two bars of the power just watch what I'm doing just watch the arrow where I place the cue ball and where I'm targeting and this is the first shot I mean it's an easy way to clear up uh, if you are I know that you are not going to get ball in hand every time but you will get the measurement that where you have to place the ball and what kind of a spin you have to use if you want to target any of the pocket and now the red ball is placed onto the bottom left and with the help of that shot <laughs> we can easily pot any ball which will be onto the bottom left pocket one more time i'll be going to show you and this time look at this on the first diamond and the guideline will go on to the third diamond just look at the arrows right now where I'm placing because I know I'm not good in explaining things but you have to follow what I'm doing this depend on Q to Q guys I'm using Atlantis Q and this will be the second shot I'm using Atlantis Q right now so this will going to work different with you guys so now this is the second shot just place your cue ball onto the right hand side and this is some sort of same shot but you have to use last spin and you have to point out onto the first dot of the left cushion all right and use full spin and with the help of spin you can part any ball which will be onto the bottom left or right hand side pocket all right look at this just watch what i'm doing 
It's an easy way to clear up any ball, which will be, people say that I'm talk so much. I don't know why people say that. But look at this. Let's point onto the first and then the ball will come back at the same time onto the opposite pocket. All right. The first diamond, left spin, if you're on the right side, and then boom. This is the easiest way to clear up any ball, guys, which will be into the uh, bottom right or left pocket. This is an easy way. Just explore onto the table. These diamonds are very, I mean, yeah, you can easily clear up any ball if you know the physics of this game. You have to point out onto the exact dot. Otherwise, the ball will not going to get in onto the target pocket right guys so one more time i'll be going to show you just have to follow the diamonds and the arrow which i'm showing right now on our screen so now this is the third shot i'm going to show you uh, i know people were going to comment that yeah this is an easy way to i mean these are some simple shot anybody can make those kind of shot not everybody know these kind of bank shot and not every people know that how this thing work where we have to exactly point out the cue ball in order to part our desired pocket ball all right so this is the third shot so right now as you can see on our screen just point out your key ball onto the third diamond as you can see i'm pointing out with the help of the arrow if you're not <laughs> getting what i'm saying right now so point out onto the third dot and at the same time just point out onto the left cushion side a bit of upper side off to the pocket and just use only two bars of the power and then the result will be that you can easily clear any ball which will be onto the bottom right pocket. This thing works same. I mean this thing works same with all the four pockets. And right now I'm onto the top and I'll be going to place the cue ball onto the third diamond and at the same time a bit more lower side if I'm onto the top pocket. And as you can see the ball is going all in onto the top right pocket. All right. You know, these are simple bank shots. People will understand. I mean, you have to just watch where I'm targeting my cue ball and this will be the fourth shot. Look at this. So now we have to place, this one is also a simple bank shot. Just point out, just bring your cue ball onto the left side. I know that you're not going to get the ball in hand every time, but if you are somewhere near to the left pocket, then you can just watch the diamond where are the diamonds just place onto the third diamond then you can easily pot any ball which will be onto the bottom right pocket this thing work same as like the other shot for all the four pockets so as you can see we parted the yellow ball and now i'll be going to target the same pocket and just place onto the third dot just watch the arrows guys then use only two bars of the power and then you can pot any ball which will be onto the bottom right pocket corner. All right, so now I'm onto the right side and what I'm going to do, I'm going to target the third diamond and <laughs> look at this. This is an easy tutorial guys. Anybody can make, I can say for sure that you can pot and clear any of your ball if you are somewhere near to these diamonds and these diamonds are very important in order to, if you want to make bank shots, you have to just lined up in a perfect way of these diamonds and then boom you will going to make easiest bank shot ever in this game so this will be the fifth shot guys look at this i'm right now i'm placing my cue ball at the same diamond right now i'm placing my cue ball onto the same diamond the third diamond of the bottom pocket target will be the top left hand side cushion the first diamond top side first diamond and you can get that by the arrow and look at this use left spin and use only two bar of the power then the ball will come back onto the middle pocket guys so this will not going to work different if you are doing this shot every time no this will not going to work this will work same every time use left spin use only two bar of the power and then the ball will come back onto the middle pocket so i will going to show you if i'm placing a ball near i mean not near onto the middle pocket then use left spin use two bars of the power and the ball will come back onto the middle pocket all right so now i place this yellow ball and i'm also targeting onto the left first top first diamond and using two bars of the power and using left spin the target will be the middle pocket all right so now the ball is on the top 
the middle pocket so this will going to work a different in a spin way so you have to use a different spin you have to use right spin if you're on top and if you have to use left spin if you're on to the bottom side all right as you can see we can clear we can easily clear uh, any ball which will be onto the middle pocket so this is the second part of this tutorial and yeah uh, I will show you simple shot in this tutorial and I will come up with this with the third part if if you are getting uh, some positive response on this tutorial so I place onto the onto this first dot of the right hand side this will going to work same as for the right hand side and same as for the left hand side so look at this these are some simple and easiest way to make bank shot guys And now this will be the sixth shot of this tutorial and look at this we have to point our cue ball onto the first down left side first diamond just watch where I'm placing my cue ball and where I'm targeting just point out onto the right hand side top first diamond and then hit it with full power and then the result will be the ball which will be into the bottom right pocket we're going to get in I mean this thing also works same with all those pockets all four pockets and look at this this is a three cushion shot and <laughs> I was exploring onto the tables and I found these kind of shot and I'm showing you so please leave a like uh, if this thing helps you out in any case and right now I'm pointing I'm pointing onto the bottom left pocket side downside first diamond and I'm placing a ball onto the top left pocket and boom you know this is a very simple way to make bank shot guys and now at the same time you have to just focus on to the diamonds if you're not I mean if you're not placing your cue ball onto the exact diamond then the location of your cue ball target will going to get distracted and you're not going to get a successful part if you're missing your your location all right so look at this full power and boom just watch the arrows where i'm placing because the arrows are very important your your target is very important your cue ball location is very important and useful power <laughs> i know people were going to say I um, keep saying every time that people will going to say that yeah everybody can make those kind of bank shot these are some simple and easy bank shot and yeah I know because people a lot of people just play this game for the first time and they don't know the rule of this game how to where they have to exactly point out the cue ball in order to make a bank shot look at this I'm placing on the right hand side and I'm pointing on to the opposite side of the le left cushion and then boom these diamond are very important guys in order to make bank shot this thing will going to going to affect also if you're not using a powerful cue guys I'm using Atlantis cue because this cue have good power that's why it's going all the way around onto the right hand side or left hand side with full power look at this I'm placing onto the second diamond and boom so these diamonds are very important just go on to your practice mode and practice right now all these shots then you will understand that how you can easily make those kind of bank shots I know that you will going to say that uh, I'm not be able to part these balls with the same power uh, I'm saying one more time that, that I'm using Atlantis Q this Q is a very powerful Q this, this Q have a powerful force you have to just follow the diamonds and then you can easily make bank shot so yeah that's it for this second part of this tutorial i hope you all people will understand that what i'm trying to show you by this tutorial so if you like this video this tutorial just leave a like if this tutorial helps you out by any chance any case just leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing 8 ball pro videos and I'll be going to meet you in my next videos. Peace out.